guys, Mario Edition 5 is coming. I am excited. And guess what? You should be too. So the thing is, Mario has recently posted a video on their Facebook page you know, regarding the release of the new edition and I happened to see it. So that is a video that we'll be going over today. You know, we'll dissect it, we'll see what's up and I'm sure that you guys will love it. So firstly, let us watch this video together and see what is up. And, and in case you guys want to see this video separately, I'll put a link in the description. Okay, let's get it. What saved this boy to our surprise and to our astonishment were two high-powered magnets which were lodged one in his genome, one in his ilium. When me and my first year postgraduate opened up the case, we were taken aback. The entire small bowel was full of metallic objects, at least 600 to 700 of them, including intact Diwali lights which were measuring at least 5 to 6 feet long. Entire Diwali lights inside your abdomen, 5 feet long. What? Now in clinical medicine, you will often get these curveballs and these mysterious cases. But if you have sound clinical knowledge and sound clinical concept, you can deal with any such case. That holds true for your exam as well. Some of the questions would be intriguing and you will think that they are very tough. But if your concepts are strong, you can answer any question in the exam. And that's what we are trying to build with Marrow 5.0, where each module has a clinical touch to it. Okay, now this is huge. There are, there are two things that I want to share with you until this part, right? Two things I want to highlight until this part of the video. Firstly, it is the fact that we are actually seeing the insides of an operation theater, which means that, you know, these, these videos are purely clinical based, purely practical based and not theory based. So I feel that now we are actually getting the best of both worlds, that is both clinical and practical. Now, secondly, which is actually more enticing is the fact that Sar is actually talking to the camera, right? And he's actually speaking with us, which means that hopefully he will be giving us a step by step approach on how the actual surgery is being done. Now, why I actually find this exciting is because you see, in the normal scenario, we are all going to the OT, right? We usually go to the OT, we see uh, the surgery that is being done. But what usually happens most of the time, uh, at least in my case, is that I don't really understand what is actually the steps of the surgery, right? The surgery is just being done by a lot of people. They're just doing it. <laughs> Pin drop silence. The only thing that you can actually hear is the bang, bang, bang. The surgeon and their team is doing the job. And we as students, we are standing there, you know, we are doing nothing, absolutely nothing. Again, uh, doing our job. And many a times I've thought to myself like, like, what am I doing here? What is the purpose of life? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. And I'm not blaming anyone because the surgeons that are doing their job, right? everyone's doing their job. There is no incentive for the surgeon to actually go out of his line, actually teach the medical students who are standing there absolutely doing nothing. I mean, it's not their job. But over here, we can see that Sar is actually talking to the camera, right? He's actually explaining the steps, hopefully, explaining the steps of the surgery. And this, I believe, is going to give us a lot of value. Truly looking forward to that. Fingers crossed. You can see the liver has been marked and you can see the gallbladder, you can see it moving with respiration, right? You can see it moving with respiration very well. It just by inspection, you can make out that there is a lump. You can see the scar of the previous renal surgery on the right side. For shifting dullness, what you do is pass from above below, get at the most tympanic point, then you start percussing on the side. When you get, get a dull note, then you tilt the patient to one side, wait for 30 seconds, keep your hand and your fingers there and you percuss again. So yeah, that is the end of the video. A small sneak peek, small teaser, whatever you wanna call it. So the last point that I have to share with you guys today is this idea that, is this reality actually, I should say, that that medicine is actually a practical subject. You know, unlike other subjects where you can learn everything, you know, quite possibly most of it through watching videos, you know, you can learn a lot of stuff without actually getting your hands dirty. But medicine, it is a practical subject. It does have a ton of theory in it, but still uh, it is a practical subject. So, so I believe that online classes, lectures and whatnot, all those things cannot replace medicine in any way. I mean, that's what I think. I think that medicine should actually be learned under, under the guidance of someone. So let's just say that I wanted to be a surgeon. Right? How do I become a surgeon? So firstly, I would learn from that person. Right? I would watch and observe how he or she is doing the surgery. And nextly, I think I would work with that surgeon. Right? I would assist him or her in that surgery a little more advanced than the previous level. The next step would be that 
I would do the main surgery and this person would actually tell me what to do and what not to do. I will be working under the guidance of the surgeon. And lastly, and hopefully I would be able to do the surgery on my own. So this is in a crude way, uh, the main aspect or the, or the practical aspect of learning medicine. Now, now why did I ramble about all this? You know, it is because I think this is like one step closer to achieving that goal of learning all the practical stuff via online or via lectures, via videos. It is one step closer towards the practical aspect of medicine, which I believe is the main aspect. I still think that we cannot completely replace the practical aspect of learning medicine. But hey, I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm happy for this initiative that they have put forward. I am sure that we will find this beneficial. Truly looking forward to what Mado actually has up their sleeve and what, what they're gonna put on the table. So that is it for myself. Hope you guys found this video helpful. You know, please do, do me a favor by liking this video so that you know, others will also find this video and hopefully benefit from it. And also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. More videos are coming on the way. A lot of effort is being put into these videos and uh, I hope you guys find this helpful. So that's it. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.